The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at WheatPete, realagriculture.com, and I'm out in a wheat field again. Really cool. CNM Seeds, their Wheat Industry Day, they asked me to talk about bin busting beginnings. How do I plant in the fall of 2022 to set up for maximum wheat yield in 2023? It's a really interesting thought process. Oh, there's some things we know about. It's phosphorus, it's weed control, it's planting depth. But the real key, the Yen program has shown us if I want high yield wheat in Ontario, it's heads per square meter or heads per square foot. I don't care how you count them, but we need more heads. So that's interesting. How do I get more heads? I up the seeding rate. Well, wait a minute. The fall of 2020, gorgeous conditions all the way through, dry, warm, lots of heat. I go to do head counts in the spring of 2021 and I'm up to 120 heads per square foot. That's like 100, or pardon me, 1300 heads per square meter. Like it's, it's just massive. And we had incredible yields. We had incredible yield potential. If it hadn't got so hot, we'd have set a new record. But what happened? That wheat lodged. This year, the spring of 2022, remember the fall of 21, 14 inches of rain in October. Really tough wheat in the spring. I'm doing my head counts. Over the tiles, I have 80 heads per square foot. Between the tiles, only 50 heads per square foot. We are not on track for a record. So what we really need to start looking at is planting date by seeding rate. That interaction is incredibly critical. I need to keep enough seeding rate for that date to give me high yield potential. But if I get that open fall, I really have to manage differently. And don't pump your seeding rate too high. Don't say Johnson says more heads, two million seeds per acre. If you do that, then lodging, lodging, lodging becomes the issue. So step back and say, yep, we're gonna do everything right. Increase your seeding rate as you get late, but you really wanna keep it high enough, even in the early going, that we have a good stand that we, if we don't get the perfect fall, we still end up with enough heads per square meter. A very wise grower said to me, it's easier to get one extra head or two extra heads per square meter with one more seed than it is by nitrogen management in the spring. Nitrogen management in the spring is really tough. So I don't have the golden answer, but what I can tell you is we have to start learning more about head counts. This wheat, just awesome, thick, excellent head count in this wheat when we if we can get there i think we can do a lot better job with wheat yields here in the province of ontario peter johnson at wheat pete realagriculture.com grow great wheat